correct people we greet you now welcome now to this our channel if that's the first time when they walk out jump this our channel make you now follow us make you now like our page and make you now help us and share our videos oh now listen now oh we'll get updates updated news breaking news correct correct so we now we they carry on for now for you so if you never subscribe to our youtube channel make you now rush go subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so at any time we'll be like say we drop updates on our be notified anyway my people Make we enter the updates and the Tori we will carry come for now like this. We gonna watch. Popular pastor and GO of church where they call Pastor Poju. Hmm. He does scatter grado. He don't carry himself come out now. Call it obedient and use the begin drag her up and down for Twitter. My people don't be smart thing though. Hmm. In tweet say make uh, Peter Obi make you forget about the court case. Make you support uh, Tinubu based on say the matter don't go, it don't go. Hmm. The way we say tweet this tweet, you can't they you can't be like say they even pay our money, may they do this kind of thing. To the SSF, even use one to read for Bible, say back up he claims. Anyway, my people make a live on and make and watch this video and hear the whole analysis concerning this matter. Make on watch. Now it is a pity that some highly placed pastors in Nigeria are on the paychecks of some evil politicians. Little wonder it has now become extremely difficult to hear the simple truth from the altar. As a pastor, your political utterances in this season, especially as it relates to the ongoing presidential election petition tribunal, will show who your loyalty is to, whether it is to God or it is to the devil. The senior pastor of Covenant Christian Center, Pastor Poji Oyemade, has clearly shown where he belongs. He has clearly been bought over by Tinubu. Pastor Poju, in back-to-back -back tweets, has stylishly been urging Nigerians to forget how Tinubu became president, to forget the killings and the anomalies, and just support him. In fact, he subtly implied that if Peter Obi truly loves Nigeria, he is supposed to drop the court case. But whatever he was paid, he may have to return because he could not accomplish his mission. As soon as he tweeted, Nigerians began to blast him. They follow him, blast him to the point that he, Pastor Poji himself, began to block his church members. <laughs> he began to block his church members on Twitter. But before I give you the details of that story, let me quickly show you this interesting video clip of the presidential candidate of the AAC, Omoyele Shoure. Watch the clip first. No need to lose focus. I will say one thing, which is very important, and reason we must remain who we are. This Tinubu government will make it so easy to let a revolution happen in Nigeria. You'll be surprised. Because, yes, I'm serious. Because it as if it's a blessing in disguise for a revolutionary Nigeria. He will be moving from mistake to mistake to the point that the people will have no option than to join him and push all of them out. You can go and quote me anywhere. There's all these ones that people are looking around now. They think people are stupid. People are not stupid. People are just watching. One day you put them to the wall and they will push back. Because there is suffering in this country right now. It's not. I think there was even an APC boy influencer that I was saying today that even himself with all their uh two two thousand naira data boys they are suffering they are not even getting their two thousand naira because the amount of money used to pay them to insult people on Twitter is no longer enough to do transportation to go back to where they stay they, even then they can't buy fuel they can't afford the kind of life that is that's been imposed by the Tinubu regime in Nigeria and the regime is having fun. And this is one of the very few occasions that I agree with Shore. Nigerians are watching. The people are not fools. And they will soon be pushed to the wall. That is why some of us are singing into the ears of the judiciary to do the right thing. The judiciary better not let the people down. Obi's mandate has to be returned for sanity to be restored in this country. Now back to the issue of Pastor Poju. I'm going to be discussing two of his utterances that are making the rounds everywhere on social media now. The first one is this one. He wrote, 
for everyone who loves Nigeria, you want the country to win regardless of who is playing. Just like you want your favorite team to win the trophy, even if the coach didn't field your preferred players. When your team scores, you are happy. Let's stay focused. It is all about the country winning. Imagine. Imagine what a pastor is tweeting. What he's saying here now is that Tinubu is already there. And in his own opinion, Tinubu is performing well. So the process through which he got there does not matter anymore. Even though he killed, hey, even my though people, he stole his way there, from it does not from matter from anymore. Being so First of all, the assertion uh, that Tinubu is doing well is a weakness, propaganda that people take, like uh, this pastor use have been paid to cause spread. More then bigger. secondly, what anyway, this means, is and that the this pastor's church now, the armed robbers are covered. Forget the internet like fraudsters share, no who defraud people and collect their money. It doesn't matter as soon as the money don't do your hand. That is what this pastor is preaching. And obviously, this man's conscience has been smeared. It has been twisted. He has been bought over. And Nigerians were so angry. Look at some of the tweet reactions. And this tweet said, you guys are a great embarrassment to the Christian community. Start changing your churches to social clubs or an arm of APC. There is nothing righteous in you. 2023 elections have exposed you all. Thanks to Peter Obi. Mm. And this tweet said, This is a very big shame coming from you at Pastor Poju. With the glaring stealing, harassment, killings, and other injustices, you see election as a game? I'm highly disappointed, but I leave you to God. Oh, this one touched me. Why are these men doing like this? Oh, and this tweet said, This is shameful coming from a God of man. <laughs> no, be man of God again. No. The election period really opened and exposed a lot of people, Sha. It is really sad. Deep down inside of you, you know the truth. But you just want as part of those in support so they can't come after you. God will display the exact miracle most of you preach about to you very soon. Mm. And this particular tweet here says, When we thought that criminal politicians have captured all the institutions of government, we never knew that they captured some men of God and churches likewise. God will do for himself what he expected you people to do for him in this country and you will all be disgraced oh and this tweet said now people where they attend in church i blame this one we shall encourage yahoo boys to go on as far as the aim is to make money yes the end justifies the means go ahead do whatever and when the pastor realized that the people did not buy into his trickery, you know, he used football because he felt that people love football. And people refused to buy into the trickery. So he now decided to use another trick, to use a Bible story. Because the money with them pay him, if in tricks don't work, Tinubu go tell us to make he return the money. So he now had to use another trickery, a Bible story to tweet. He called this tweet the wisdom of Solomon. And it reads, Solomon in his wisdom wanted to find out who the mother of the child truly was. He had a dilemma for the two women claimed the child was theirs. Back then, there was no DNA test. So this could only be solved through unusual wisdom. Solomon said to bring out a knife and attempt to kill the baby. Whoever truly owned the baby would rather have the baby live, even if not with her, than to see the child die. There and then, the owner of the baby was revealed. For a true mother will rather see her baby live with another than witness the baby crying in deep pain as she bleeds to death under the slice of a sharp knife. Seller. Now, you heard that tweet. Now, this tweet, now it make me conclude, say, this man has been bought over for two reasons. Number one, he is telling Peter Obi now that if he truly loves Nigeria, he is supposed to leave his mandate in the hands of Tinubu instead of fighting for it so that Nigeria go get peace. This is Peter Obi who does not have a single talk. This is Peter Obi who has never paid anybody to rig an election. This is Peter Obi who was rigged out and he told his followers not to protest. They said go to court. He said, of course, I'm already heading to court even before when I talk about it is Peter Obi that you are now preaching peace to. 
the people who are thugs, killers, hooligans, who recruited MC Oluomo and all manner of, of, of killers to, to, to be wounding people during the election. You didn't say anything to those ones. Now Peter will be now in your eyes there on top. That is how I know, say, this man has been paid. Then secondly, the part of this Solomon story that says that the baby was returned to the original owner. This man refused to emphasize that part. The part that will prove that the mandate should go back to the rightful owner, who is Peter Obi, he refused to emphasize that part. He chose the part that will suit the bidding of his paymasters. And Nigerians were so angry. Look at the brutal tweets now. This one said, why didn't you end the story where it ended? Why cut off the end to push your agenda? Solomon returned the baby to the true mother. He didn't let the imposter keep the baby. Tell your good friend, the drug lord, to return the mandate to the owner if you believe in the story you just told. Yes, yeah, so my people, and the updates will carry on for now like this video. So make sure to drop in the comments and make sure not forget to like and share.